Hey everyone, uh, this is Jerry. Um, here's a quick video on how I do my uh, chart setup uh, most recently, uh, for this week at least. <laughs> um, and I wanted to show you this combination of um, an astronomy module curve um, based on Saturn, and then I also have placed here at the suggestion of Astro Trader 2 a uh, Mars Pluto line. Um, so uh, the, the salient thing I wanted to talk about though was planetary steps using the moon. Um, let me show you how that looks. Um, uh, it's, it's the idea of starting a, uh, at a point during the trading week, the previous week, uh, and finding a major change in trend, a CIT and setting up the moon <clears throat> steps to be divisions of uh, 90 degrees, well, really 360. Um, so half of, uh, I don't, I haven't gotten out to 180, but I, I stop at 90 degrees. Um, if you take half of 90, you've got 45, half of that is 22 and a half, half of that is 11.25, Half of that is 5.625, etc. It's interesting too on those divisions is that all these digits add up to the number nine, which is pretty interesting. Um, five and six, two and five equal nine. One and one, two plus two plus five equals nine, and so on. Um, so um, let me say okay to that. Get that out of the way. Yeah. So I, I bring out, um, by clicking this button, planetary steps, and drag it to the low of the previous week when I'm trying to decide what's going to happen this week. I have my LBC, that's the learning border cursor, or um, set to the, uh, before the beginning of the week here. And I do have data from this week uh, included. Today is um, October 6, 2017. <clears throat> so, um, this first step out is uh, 5.625 from the uh, low here, and notice that it, it picked out another uh, reversal and swing to the upside. 11.25 uh, also picked out this reversal to the downside. Um, the next one adding 5.625 is pretty close to this reversal, and the next one out 22.5 as this high and reversal. So that's all pretty interesting, but what can it tell us for this week? Um, so here we go, moving over. I haven't moved this um, at all. As I got out further, I started adding 11.25. Um, so 45 degrees was the last that I was adding in 5.625 increments, I believe. So plus 11.25 gave me 56, plus 11.25 gives you 67.5. And I was trying to figure out then, looking at these curves, I've noticed that uh, after a curve is in place, the next available um, pivot point is probably going to be correct. And, and sure enough, it was here on October 3rd at um, midnight Eastern time. Um, we had this swing low here that kicked in, uh, tipped off by Saturn and by the Mars-Pluto um, phase studies. Uh, six harmonic for Saturn, seventh harmonic for Mars-Pluto. Um, look at this at another 11.25 degrees. We have another swing up. And also we could use that to pick the swing high close enough for the week um, using the peak of these curves here. Um, and the closest moon step line. So enter short at this point, and here we are for the rest of the week. Um, I could add to the 90 and go out and see what's going on and, and pick a swing low over here as well. Um, I haven't done that as yet, but it would probably be somewhere in here. Um, so um, let me see, that's pretty much it. Um, uh, let's see, if you'd like to see how I do the astronomy, well, you click the astronomy mo module um, and pick a color here. Um, in this case, the blue line is going to be 
Saturn minus Saturn phase at sixth harmonic, 100% smooth orb using the auto adjust price oscillator. <clears throat> the green line is, let me drag that in, Mars minus Pluto phase at seventh harmonic, 100% smooth orb, auto RPO, etc. Okay. And what I'm using the um, these harmonics to get fairly close to three full cycles. Uh, since I'm using 30 minute data and I'm using uh, about 10,000 bars in this case, 9,000, oh yeah, it's 10,000 before the LBC. Um, there's 228 bars after the LBC here. Um, that combination of 30 minute bars, 10,000 of them, 6th or 7th harmonic, um, close to three cycles seems to be uh, pretty accurate and a good place to to shoot for. Okay, won't run too long. I'll cut it here. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave a comment on the uh, in the comments uh, or or just quote my post on the planetary cycles um, forum, and I'll do my best to answer. Take care.